And for a man of God. Lord God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give a great big hand for Jesus and Brother Jeff Haggins. Hallelujah. Something is missing out of my life if I don't make it around here. Come on. And yesterday, as I was praying, got in the Spirit of God, God showed me two people. And uh, you know, a lot of times we, the flesh part of it, as long as nobody else sees it, it's all right. Yeah. But it ain't all right. That's right. Amen. Right. Right. So I'm going to do what I feel. God showed me doing for a minute. Blessing. Just going to do it. Don't obey God. Don't God. I'm going to go outside here. And who can see me out here? Can anybody see me out there? Jesus. Jesus can see me. That's right. Amen, Brother Jim. That's right. Come on. I don't care what kind of dark room you're in. Amen. I don't care where you're at. God sees what you're doing. Amen. Amen. Come on now. A lot of people don't want to say nothing to anybody else, but come on. I think it's just if we're, if we're going to pray for it, we need to use it. That's right. Throughout Amen. this whole revival, we've heard the word trust in God. Amen. And I think we're going to trust Him. That's right. I don't know what's going on, but I want I want you to stand in line for Blake because something's going off in his life. Because God knows who you are. Amen. And God's getting tired of you. 
Amen. We are a church and we're a family. Amen. That's right. And we ought to not be backbiting one another. That's right. Amen. All right. And once you do things like that, then you start losing confidence in each other. That's Amen. right. That's right. right. That's right. right. Care what kind of battle you get in in this world, Jesus Christ can run away for way. That's right. Come on. And I've realized that Place if we're ever going to get to where God wants us to, uh -huh. we're going to have to obey. Right. Amen. I like to say to the young people, I'm proud of every one of them. Thank you, Jesus. I was trying to get the little sissy the same night because I was kind of encouraged from last night. Yeah. Because I heard him sing over the table in the street. Yeah. Sometimes a lot of things are hard to do. Yeah. It's hard for me to be up here. Bless him, Lord. But I don't want to go to hell. That's right. Bless him, Lord. I think about it. I, I, I got the aggravated here a while back. And I kind of thought about what Brother uh, J.R. said that night over to me. I said, what do you know about me? He said, I just know people don't like me very much. <laughs> so I got thinking about that on I said, the Lord, if they don't like me, then they don't love me. That's so right. I right. So they just pray. Amen. But I don't care. I just want to be obedient to God. Amen. Come on, man. I know that my talking is different than right. these other brothers, That's but I can right. encouraged from them. Come on. I just want to move on up and let God be God in my life. That's Amen. right. Lord, and uh, I'm going to read... A few scriptures. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Jesus. Amen. Bless him, Jesus. Amen. 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 You're spot on. Clouds here, man. Come on. I'm going to read a few verses, but I'm only going to use the word out of this. Bless him, Jesus. John 10 and all that read down from 31. It said, Then the Jews took up stone against again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown you from my Father, but which of these works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For good works we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou being a man, making thyself God, but they got that wrong. He was God making himself a man. Amen. 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 Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I say, you are gods. If you call them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scriptures cannot be broken, say you of him, whom the Father had sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest because I say I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, for you believe not me, believe the works that you may know, and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Come on. Therefore, they again, they saw again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands. And you see, that I'm going to use the word here, but I'm going to add uh, the great escape, the great escape from the Bible. Amen. And it's like I said, I. I talk different, Brother J.R., Brother Larry. It's all right. It's all right. But I'm just going to do what God does me. Because when I started out, I was arguing with God, and I just said, just give me something simple. Because well, sometimes it takes simple things for us to understand. That's right. Uh, it's like I go to the doctor. I ain't got enough sense for them. i got to take my sister somebody to interpret that to me because I don't know. Yeah, come on. But I'm thankful for God. So... In our life, I just want you to think as I go down through this tonight, no matter what you get yourself into, there is a way out. Amen. Amen. So you've got to trust God. Yes. Well, I kept listening throughout this revival how that the word trust just kept a coming and a coming and coming. You know, we can we can say a many of things, but we gotta trust Him. That's right. You know, and that's what it's all about. Now, in this the great escapes in the Word of God 
we're going to use this, this trough thing just for our theory here when I talk about this. Because a lot of times, have you ever, has God ever really sold anybody here to do something and you say, why would I do that? Uh -huh. Or why should I do that? They're not going to hear me anyway. Come on, brother. Or, you know, that's just the way flesh is and that's what gets a lot of us in trouble. Why not just try God and see if it lives? Amen. Uh -huh. But I was thinking about how that God, the world was formed and God, uh, the evil came up on the land quickly. And Jesus loved his people that he had. And he made a way. He's going to make a way. Come on. So he talked to Noah and he said, I want you to build an ark. Uh -huh. And he gave him how to make it. Uh, the Word of God calls it in cubes that we're going to put it in feet. Over 150 feet long, 75 foot wide, 45 foot high. Three stories, one window, one door. Mom. And that's, 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 that's a big boat. That's to help more than eight souls. That's right. But let's use a trust phone here for just a second. Just get, get me going here. All right. What if Noah would have looked at God when he said, Build me an ark? Come on, brother. Come on. What if Noah would have said, Why, Lord, would I build an ark? I'm 500 years old. And I had never seen it rain. Come on. But he never done that. No, he didn't. He done exactly what God done. Amen. And that's what it is. If we can reach out and help someone escape Come on. from the burdens of life. That's right. Like our brother here. He 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 asked God to help him no matter what it takes. <laughs> so that God's going to do what it takes. That's right. That's where he needs to be. That's yeah. right. That's like me. I took a mini weapon because Jeff won't do it his way. Yes. But it ain't about me. That's Amen. right. Come on, Jeff. I just want to obey God and let the Lord have His way. I just want to. I just want to make it clear tonight, using the Bible thing, that no matter what we're doing. Look, a lot of people don't want us here. Come on, uh -huh. they didn't want us coming. And a lot of people, even Christian people, uh -huh. try to say things to discourage you. That's right. That's right. Wow. I've been my people. I'm just staying in the house. Yeah. Well, have you really been staying in the house? Come on. Oh, come I'm on. just afraid to come out here to the house Amen. of God. Amen. Uh -huh. I would rather. I would rather to suffer something here. Yeah. As I was at the house. That's right. Going to for God. That's right. If people can't stand now, and I've said this in my testimony, it might get old, but I'm like this. Yes, if we can't stand something now, what are we going to do when the real things come? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. When, oh. when they grab your little kid and say, either you deny you're going to kill your kids. Uh -huh. That's right. There's a lot of people going to sell out because they love their children come on. Their God. Come on, brother. Right. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. There is nowhere in the word that says God ain't going to make a way for his people. That's right. I look through this and I, I just try to give it like God gives to me because that's all the sense I got. I ain't got no education about it. I, I told God, I said, You've got to give it to me because I don't know how to do it. That's right. And a lot of times what I say up here is so far what I'm going to preach. It might be like a teaching thing because that's all I've ever done is talk the Word of God. It's all right. We don't be in BB in school, but I just want God to be God. We need to understand no matter what we get into, what the devil tries to get us into. Come on, come on. God can give us up. Yeah. You know, a lot of people says, I believe God, but where are they at? Come on. Come on. I, was, I told Brother Larry and maybe Brother you, J.R., Brother, but I said, I've never seen a time where so many Pentecostal people close to the doors. When we got the truth, we got the Bible, we believe in one God, got the Holy Ghost speaking in time, and yes. they're running just like any other reason. Amen. Come on. That's right. They don't get it from me. I'm sorry if that bends anybody, but that's just the way it is. Amen. I believe, I believe that the people that come into this place, oh, you out. You don't be here in the house of God. You need to be praising God. People say, well, I don't have to go to church to live right. I've been told this, but people, 
You don't have to come here to this church and pray. No, I don't have to. I've got a nine rooms house up there. I live there by myself. i got all the room I need. That's right. But I like it. Yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it when he lets the tears roll down. Yeah. You know, for a long time in my life, I could, I, I was in a place I couldn't really cry. I, I guess I just had something in me and I didn't know how to get it out of it. Come, Come on. on. But when Jesus Christ takes it out of me, I'm like what the sister says. The devil, the devil didn't give this to me and I, he can't take it from me. God's delivered me out. He's always made a way out. Yes. Come on. I just love the Lord. We just got to trust God in everything that we do, and then He will deliver us. Yes. yes. No doubt, in that sister's life right there, I listen to her testimony, and I think. I listen to Brother Jason Hawkins' testimony, and I think. No doubt in their life, they thought they would never get out. That's right. But when Jesus comes walking by, He'll make a way for you to stay. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. On. That's what I'm talking about. We've yeah. got to believe God. That's right. You know? oh! I, I used to be a bad person. I used to cuss and all that crazy stuff. I thought I was something. Uh -huh. But one day Jesus come knocking on my door. Yeah, yeah, man. It took me a long time. Thank you, I, I, Jesus. I, I, I kind of ashamed. It took me a long time to get this humble heart. Come on. I don't understand why. But, but, this long. but you got it. Oh, come Jesus. on. Amen. Come I got on. it. Hallelujah. I'll tell somebody else. Hallelujah. Said, how'd you, how you got that? Hey, That's what I prayed for. That's how I got it. Hey, I, 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 my people think I'm foolish, but I do. I come right here. I lay my head on that box right there. Lay on that floor. Buddy, I just give them to God. Right. And that's the reason I feel peace and joy in my heart today. Amen. They say, well, I hope you got what you say you got when it comes that time. Yeah. I said I'd rather die for God. Is to let something happen and lose my soul in hell. Amen. Where the fire is never going to go out. Come on. People are going to live on the They want to put everything out before God. Come on. I don't want to put before God. Amen. That's right. Amen. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go something like the devil trying to drive me out there. It's all right. Come on. I love him. But anyway, God sold it. Noah built that ark and he made a way to stay. Yeah, he did. Uh -huh. And there was a lot of room on this ship. This ark, many people could have been could have been saved. That's right. They chose not to be. That's right. And that's the way it is today. You know, a lot of times we are looking and we look at these big mega churches they call them and all these other big denomination churches and all these people in there. But you know the sad thing about it is all of them ain't gonna be saved. That's right. There's only gonna be a remnant that's right and saved. And I, I thought about it today, just flickered in the storm of mind of mine. I'm one of those grains of sand that he told Abraham about. Hey, and man. I'm grateful to me because God has made a way for me. Yes. Yes. You know, a lot of people, they say they believe God, but when it comes down to them, that's like me. Until uh, I got 50 years old, I didn't take man as a man. I thought it was awful thing in the world. When I got a little older, the devil was trick, trick. Now I talked to my sister the end of the day. I said, I'm going to get tired of it. I get tired of taking this man, so I'm just going to pray and I'm going to say, Lord, uh, so I don't know when it'll be when I do this, but I'm going to say, God, either kill me or take me. That's it's right. not hard of going against what I feel is right. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. And right. that's what we need to do. we got to believe God. Amen. You know, we go on over. God made it, everything that God has said to us and He's made a promise to us. But sometimes we forget the promise of God. Yes. And I ain't trying to say this to be funny or trying to make nobody look bad, but you know why a lot of people don't know what God says? They don't read His Word. Amen. Amen. They try to kill it from somebody else. Yeah. I, I, I want to read the Word for me. Amen. So if a man of God or whoever who's preaching there and they say something is not right, I want my spirit Amen. to speak to me. That's right. You know, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what Larry said to me last night. Uh, you know, the night he closed the church down, I don't know exactly what got in him to make him do that. But man, that day around here praying, I feel the Holy Ghost and I was feeling that revival thing coming on. Amen. Amen. I got home and he put that on there and I thought, oh God, you're making yeah. a mistake. Yeah. And I, I just sat there on the couch and talked to myself, talked to God. I thought, well, I'm going to call him. Then I thought, no, no, they're all just going to 
I call it trouble maker. Yeah. But you know what? God moved up on him. And, he, and we're here. Amen. Amen. We wouldn't have a morning Amen. We wouldn't have some good morning. Amen. Amen. Not any of all of them, but a child to know, but that sweet spirit of God. Yeah. Man, that's worth more than anybody. Amen. Amen. I love the Lord and I thank Him. But you know when God made that promise to Israel that one day He would deliver them out of this place? Uh-huh. And I love this part. Man, you just got to grab the hold of it. When that night, when that time came, he he brought them over there and he got them up against that Red Sea. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt, the people murmured and complained right there. That's right. After seeing all these other ten things that God had done for them all around, they still, still. murmured and complained. Yeah. Yeah. If God, if God moved for us in a way that our eyes maybe did not have really ever seen, why can't we grab it and believe? Yeah. Hey, you I don't agree with him about Tracy getting out of that wheelchair. Yeah, come right. on. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he's not over there. But if he saw it, Amen. it's going to happen. Amen. Yeah. Come on. That's just the way it is. The devil tricked Tracy in. And I'm not saying this to make anybody feel bad at Tracy. He needs prayer. Amen. But the devil will try to trick every one of us. That's right. Not Amen. to do what we know to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. I remember back years ago, I was I was up on this hill and doing some post timber. This boy dropped foot over, and it came down on my boot, man. And, oh, it hurt! I popped that boot off, and that thing just looked like swelled out at once. And I hobbled up the house. I was praying, and I was talking to God. I told my mom, I said, "I believe God healed me." Well, get that boot on, get back to work. Hey, man. I believe God because the swelling went down. We got to believe the Holy in the time. You're healed, you're healed. That's right. I'm looking for a great move of God in this place. Yeah. If God delivered them, the children is, when well, then you look, if they come up against this big red sea, anybody ever been to the beach, man, it's a wonderful sight. Yes, they Here they come up to that, and I still don't believe they murmured the plane. Did you bring us out here? Come on. Come on. But then God just said, why talk? He told him to stretch that rod out. I used this one time in a Sunday school lesson on the sand board, man. And these bad was people. I went back there and I said, when I go through this water, using that as the water, I said, I'm going to leave all my troubles in there. And there's some of the bad people come right in behind me and follow them. And that's what God does. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if our eyes look and see, you know, we got the instant we'll say to come on with it. We can't see. We can't see if they're natural. Seeing that that water can depart. Mm -hmm. But God can do it. Yes, man. And when He done that, they went right on over. They yeah. followed it and went right on over. That's right. And then here comes the enemy. Bless Him, Lord. All right, I guess they thought they could do what God people could do. Because uh -huh. they followed right in on them. Uh -huh. But the difference is, God got rid of the enemy that day. Amen. Uh -huh. Whatever your enemy is today, this night, God can get rid of your enemy. Come on. Amen. Amen. You know, a yeah. lot of people want to flirt with the world. Yeah. And yeah. when you flirt too long, you get drawn into things. That's Amen. right. Yeah. And I'm not saying this tonight. I don't know what is going on for Brother Blake. But he does need our prayers. Or something's going on. God knows it. God is able. We've got to trust God. Amen. And if we ever want the church to grow like we talk about all the time, we've got to do exactly what we've done this week. We've got to go against the odds. Amen. It's a blessing Amen. to see. You take these boys and these young girls coming out here singing, what they're going to do is they're going to come in and they're going to take the load off of you all. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Because we all got a place to carry the load. Amen. Right? If we work together as a team, we can make it. Amen. Right? I mean, yes. yeah. I to that brother Larry. He, he, he's our captain here in this place, our shepherd. Yeah. But I'm just going to say what I feel, okay? Come on. I'm grateful for him. Amen. He's not a jealous preacher. Amen. He's not jealous. Because you know why? He's wanting us all to help him. Right. He's wanting us to do our part. That's right. And that's like the music players. You got several music people in there. They can trade off and give everybody time to get in. And that's uh -huh. what it is. 
God to make the way for His people. Amen. Child. You know, and if you don't want in it, probably you're going to be left without. Amen. But I want them to have something like we get. Amen. Yes. But when, yes. when God closed that sea back in on them people, it just showed that God was watching over His children. That's right. Amen. And we've got to realize no matter what happens, He said the other night, I don't want to see him go to jail. But if any way at all, I'm, I, I hope I can go with him. <laughs> I just want to see what it would be like to do something for God. Amen. Would it be a wonderful thing to get in there like Paul and Silas? We'd be over at the region and we'd pray and seek God and souls get saved. Yes. Sometimes you've got to go into the raw areas of life to, to yeah. see what people say. That's right. People don't fear God enough. Amen. So sometimes they won't come here. Yeah. Sometimes you got to go to America. That's right. I give I give honor to Brother Jason Hawkins for going out there on the streets of Logan and preaching the Word of God. Yeah. Yes. People got to hear the Word. Amen. People got to deliver. We got people in our families. Most families got someone that's bound with drugs. But if they would only one time trust Jesus Christ. Amen. He could deliver them. Amen. And he could let them escape that drug habit. That's Amen. right. Because that's nothing but a trick to Satan. That's right. Amen. I'm thankful and blessed. We're all blessed tonight. I thought about that. I thought about how that in a natural way of looking, when the boys were thrown into the fire, people People say, well, we've got to obey the laws of the land. And we do. Some of them. We do. Some of them. That's right. But when it says, I want you to pray tonight, I want you to go to church tonight, yeah. and I don't see why we got to obey that. Because that's Amen. the way they do. Amen. I told this person the other day, I said, you talk about obeying the laws of the land, but if... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would have obeyed the king. They would have bowed to the image yeah. and then went to hell. That's wow. right. So they Amen. chose not to. That's right. They know the Ten Commandments. Amen. I don't have no other gods before me. That's the way it is. Like Daniel. When Daniel no degree was served, he went straight ahead and prayed. Amen. And that's the way it ought to be for a Christian. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We've got to obey certain things in this world. Yeah. But we don't do nothing that comes against the Word of God. That's Amen. Right. Amen. I, I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, I'd rather obey God than the man. Because people don't even love the black Pentecostal people anyway. Uh -huh. I don't know why it is they don't like people got the truth. And I'm grateful to God. And I just thought about how God has made a way for these people. Yeah, yeah. You go right on up here to New Testament, and you see these guys going to jail for preaching Jesus' name, Amen. and they strictly beat them. Uh -huh. Don't preach yet. Don't That's preach right. it no more. That's right. But did they listen? No. no. They come out there and they preach Jesus. I believe that much harder. Amen. And if we ever want to see the world yeah. saved or what we can get saved, we're going to have to preach about Jesus. Yeah. We're going to have to stand up on holiness. Yeah, right. A lot of people don't. They don't even want to talk about holiness. Uh -uh. I mean, if I can quit that altar, I'm just talking. Yeah. When you come to this altar and you really repent, I mean, if you repent, come on. and you get up from there and you don't never change nothing, uh -huh. you don't have to quit wearing your shorts or smoke your cigarettes or drink your beer. Or Sleeping around. Come on. You've you got an easy thing going there, ain't you? That's right. That's how the devil got a lot of them blind. That's right. That's right. the reason they don't want holiness. That's they don't, right. they don't want Jesus' name because there's an approach to being a Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. People want to talk about it and do their thing. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, they'll call upon you to pray. Uh huh. We're, we, the God's people, it's like I said last night, it's the righteous God hears. Uh -huh. God's not just going to hear anything. God's not going to accept anything. The devil has got the world to see. It's like the song they sing here, the Hollywood song. Man, I tell you what, everywhere you look, these churches full of Hollywood. Amen. I'm grateful. 
I'm grateful to God to be different. I'm grateful for Him to give me an escape place. That's right. Out of my old simple world. Come on. To come into a better living place. Yes. And it has. It took me a long journey to just feel this wonderful peace I've got in my soul. And I can't understand after all these years why sometimes it takes us that long to see. But I think like this. I think what I feel in my heart, and I'm not going to say that I'm not going to go through a trial, but I think God's going to help me through it better because I want to trust Him. Yes. And I just, put, I just gave it to Him. I'm going to say this, and then I, it's probably about all I've got to say that God will give me something else. Come on, brother. I was thinking about this. It might be a little silly, but I'm going to throw it in here anyway. Back years ago, there used to be a, a, a magician. And he called himself the greatest escape artist ever, Harry Houdini. He made his boast, he made his brag, but one time in a trick, his illusions didn't work, so he got killed. But he made a promise that if he died, he said, I'll come back again on my anniversary of my death. I watched it one time. He never came back. Amen. But Jesus Christ one time said, kill this, destroy this temple, and in three days I will come again. Amen. That's the difference between illusions and real stuff. Amen. You know, I thank God I'm serving the real God. Amen. The only God to read. I thought about how many times uh, that people pray to Woods and stones and all this thing, this trees and sun, and moon. I'm grateful that one day this old country boy was introduced to Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, I, I ain't got no big education. What words I hardly learned to spell, I've learned since I do it on Facebook. So, but God has made a way for me to understand Him. And I'm, thank, I'm thankful for God giving me a place. Escape my old world. Amen. And I ain't got no desire to look back. They ain't looking back at me. Amen. You know, that's that's what I want to do. I want to keep my eyes on the prize and I want to go forward. Amen. I want God to just be pleased with me. Amen. I, I want to be. I, I think about these people, and I'm not saying that the herd of them probably they're going to see it. I, not just in this church, but a lot of other churches. Why? Didn't they just trust God? Amen. Until till the law came and moved them out. Why don't they just trust God? You know, where is where is the faith? Amen. You know, we talked about Willie Fine, but he's gonna find faith because his bride's got the faith. Amen. You no, know, I've, I've said this and it might sound cruel. Everybody goes to church and they're gonna be saved. That's right. People better wake up. They better get their life ready. That's right. I appreciate y'all listening to me tonight. I love the Lord. And I, just, I, just thank, I just thank God to be a part of this church. That's right. Yes. You know, this, I just love what I feel in this church. Amen. I, I, you know, so we've got a lot of struggles in life here. But I think now, if we work together, and we really are in a brother's people, Amen. we can make it. We can make a church that will seem way better than any hospital ever. Come on. Amen. Because the people out in the world needs God's people. I love each one and every one of them. made that way. It's not His will that any would perish. That's right. No. All we got to do is just follow Him, trust Him, and say, Lord, I just want to do whatever you have me to do. That's right. So, we do end up over at Brother Jeff. We'll just pray and hope somebody gets saved. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. That's right. Because God's getting all of me ready. He's getting His people ready.
to five because I'm telling you, there's a battle that's coming. If you'll stick with Jesus, Me if too. we just get this in our mind, if we'd learn to stick with Jesus, you know, he ain't never lost a battle. That's right. I ain't going to lose one. That's Amen. right. That's all we got. If we could just get that in our little BB brain, I'm talking about me too, my little BB brain. If I get that in there, uh -huh. well, Jeff, if we just get that there, he ain't lost one, ain't going to lose one. Amen. And he's that mistake. Well, he's just going to take us through. That's right. Amen. The blood. Oh, it's love. 